Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mind of Steel, the show that is nominally all about Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist, Mark Steele. But for once, this is going to be an entirely Mark Steele free episode. That's right. Other than this intro, Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist doesn't feature at all. In fact, it barely features that other bastion of weirdness, Sabrina Wallace. Today, we're going to join an entirely new friend of the show. His name is Black Pilled Ham. And we join him today as he busily busies around his radio shack. And of course, like any true nutter, what is he listening to in the background as he busies away? Well, of course, it's the SGT report. It's uh, this pair of dum-dums called Hope and Tivon, who uh, feature quite prominently on that channel. So let's see what Black Pilled Ham gets up to as he listens to Hope and Tivon on the SGT report network, courtesy of that bastion of sensible programming that we all love symbols called BitChute. The, the pentacle, the two symbols together represent the interweaving of planetary and elemental forces. So this, is, this is their symbology for merging man and machine or transhumanism. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. This is just an everyday scenario in the life of a conspiracy truther. In this case, we see black pilled ham at home, listening to precisely the kind of entertainment that we might associate with conspiracy truthers. Utterly nonsense content, presumably plucked in whole form from the anal cavities of its progenitors, Hope and Tivon, two completely ludicrous conspiracy theorists who are some of the main presenters on the completely insane channel that is SGT Report. And uh, Black Pilled Ham seems not to be into it though. Black Pilled Ham is getting on with his daily jobs of doing whatever it is, is he does. And, and let's have a look at exactly what Black Pilled Ham is gold up coin. to. That's no noblegoldinvestments.com. Mr. Pickens, your stuff is ready. I'll be sending that out Monday. Papers. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Black Pilled Ham is building mesh tastic nodes. I, like, I've got one of those. They're cute little radios. You can use them to send text messages to, to other people. It, it's an off-grid highly secure messaging system that doesn't rely on the phone system. Well, maybe I've misjudged Black Pilled Ham. Maybe he isn't a, a zany conspiracy truther. Perhaps he's a wholesome old man who simply wants the best for everybody and is using his time to, to build radio equipment for, for other people in his community who might not have the, the technical expertise that he does. Do you think maybe this whole time I've been falsely maligning Black Pilled Ham, and he's an all right kind of guy, and, and I should be chastised for, for maybe casting aspersions at, at this kindly old gent. Well, we'll see. Let's, let's see if Black Pilled Ham is a nutter, as I initially presumed, or a stand-up guy, uh, as maybe he might be. You know what? Let's let his own words speak for precisely who he is. Precious metals are simple and real, tangible Well, And by the way, I bet money a new all time high. In that, uh, there isn't a company on the stock market that was around 2,000 years ago, but guess what? I bet your money they're going to bring Sabrina Wallace on to talk about the radiation that she said that I was full of shit for talking about for fucking years now. Bet you anything. Bet anything! I bet anything. Now there's no guarantee of any kind with any investment. I bet anything. Your own due diligence, but you'll get a dedicated I bet anything. Anything. Fucking no anything. Hassle, no call centers. I think we've found ourselves in the middle of a truther turf war. On one side we have Sabrina Wallace, the former network operations technician turned prophetess of doom, who believes that we have all been injected or maybe infected with nanocircuitry biosensors that use LoRa protocol to emit some kind of telemetry that allows malign government associated agents to spy on our bodies and even remote controllers. She believes that we're all targeted individuals and that it is only thanks to her biofield 
practice that her and her gang that refer to themselves as the synergists are able to shield themselves from this radio technology abuse. And on the other side, we have this chap, Black Pilled Ham, who sort of looks like um, the Mirror Universe version of Doc Brown from Back to the Future. He's a sort of swearier, nastier, hard-smelling, hard-drinking version of, of the, the cuddly character that we all love from Steven Spielberg's movie. Uh, <clears throat> let's try and find out why it is that this chap, um, Black Pilled Ham, is so angry that they might mention Sabrina Wallace on Hope and Tivon's ludicrous SGT report show. If you want to learn more about it, we'll leave the link below. <laughs> you can get these products to put on I'm your gonna sell you gold. Your I'm going to sell you pixie dust. EMF exposure Holy shit. Totally fried and before I play this clip from Sabrina Wallace. Tavon, do you want to just comment on that? We're all being bombarded by 5G. Did any of you accept that bet from Black Pilled Ham? You know, th at the beginning, he was going to bet anything that Sabrina Wallace was going to be in this episode of Hope and Tivon from SGT Report. Well, I suspect that he probably just watched that bit and then skipped back and then started his own recording pretending not, no, not to know whether Sabrina was going to be in the episode. Here's Sabrina Wallace on the fact of the matter regarding body area networks, nanotech, and essentially the bioweapon mass grace cab is in Listen. Body area networks. You already Googled body area networks. Don't be afraid. Medical body area network. And my challenge to you is to click on the images tab and tell me if you can find a picture in which your body ain't in it. Good <laughs> luck with that. Good luck with that, yeah. And, and. I just searched for wireless body area network and none of the images that came up showed my body. So I think based on that Google search, then I should be perfectly safe. Now, that was the interview that would have been seen by Black Pilled Ham had he continued to play, had he not been so utterly triggered by the mere mention of Sabrina Wallace's name. Now, when we hear her name, we certainly don't switch off. We, we listen and, and we choose to learn and we want to find out just what is going on in that crazy banana's brain of Sabrina Wallace. But Black Pilled Ham evidently feels so differently. There's something that perhaps she's done or said that makes Black Pilled Ham react in such a strong way. Let's see if we can figure out just what is beefing him out today. Sabrina Wallace, who said that nobody's emitting a BLE address and nobody is emitting a 2.4 gigahertz signal and nobody is dying from radiation poisoning. I think we're coming closer to understanding the source of Black Pilled Ham's hatred for his fellow conspiracy theorist, Sabrina Wallace. He's claiming that Sabrina Wallace has publicly disagreed with a, a range of conspiracy theories that he, Black Pilled Ham, has espoused on his videos. For example, Black Pilled Ham believes that people who have received a, a vaccination emit Bluetooth signals. Now, that is a completely bonkers theory, doubly so that it is being espoused by a man who has presumably some passing experience using radio equipment. Anybody who knows anything about radio would find it completely bonkers that a human body could emit a Bluetooth signal. But he is claiming that the source of his beef is, amongst other topics, that the fact that Sabrina Wallace does not believe that human bodies can emit Bluetooth signals. Well, let's see what Sabrina has to say about that. And this is a component of things that really made me upset as a former information technology professional, that no one came forward and mentioned that Mac IDs are used with cable modems and all sorts of stuff. And when humans are emitting Mac IDs, excuse me, that's blue, Ooh, it. it's called Bluetooth low energy. Uh, so once again, Black Pilled Ham is completely wrong about Sabrina Wallace. 
He's saying that he dislikes her because she's rejected his ridiculous Bluetooth theory. But had he bothered to watch that interview that he just switched off, he would have seen Sabrina Wallace exclaim the exact same ludicrous conspiracy theory, the, the nonsense belief that vaccinated people are emitting Bluetooth signals. It's a bonkers crazy world. But we still know further to understanding what the source of black pilled ham's visceral hatred for Sabrina Wallace. You know, I disagree with Sabrina, but I don't hate her. I, I think she's a, a comically ludicrous figure. But when I see black pilled ham talking about Sabrina, he really hates her. Why? What? what? Why would somebody just hate another human being? Next time one of you fucking people sends me a goddamn link to a fucking video, which for this one was, you need to get up with SGT report and see if you can link up with him because he's talking about exactly what you're, what you were talking about. No, he's copying everything that I was talking about. These people are no different than the fucking flat earth movement. You know, for all of Black Pilled Ham's disgusting oafish mendacity, I think he's got a point there. Hope and Tivon, that the presenters of the SGT report, the, the program that uh, presumably somebody sent him a link to and, and tried to make him watch, well, they really are no better than flat earthers because they approach the world of science and technology with precisely the same level of intellect, precisely the, the same kind of fake research that a flat earther might do. Here's just a little example of how they talk about technology and their role as technology communicators. Well, I think that the the, the knowledge of the tech, so all this technology that we've been talking about, which is our thing, that's what we do, is explain technology to people. That's basically our main mission. And all of the technology that we're explaining is controlled by EMF. I suppose she has a sort of point because every single electrical device from the, the Baghdad batteries invented 23 centuries ago, all the way to uh, Alessandro Volta's first actual battery made of some kind of copper, iron and card material, well, they all rely on electromagnetic fields to work in some form or another. It, literally, it, it's a kind of a truism because absolutely everything that is electronic uses electromagnetic fields or forces in some way. It, it's a ridiculously general thing to say, which kind of suggests that maybe Hope or Tivon, whichever that lady is, I actually don't know, maybe she hasn't got a clue about anything. It, it, this is shows about nothing made by idiots, watched by idiots. Uh, and maybe Black Pilled Ham has a right to be upset about that because it's obviously nonsense. But I have a feeling that isn't what Black Pilled Ham is really angry about. That's why you don't ever see fucking even the channel that this shit is being reposted on. You don't even never hear them mention anything about that. It's all a program. It's all paid for. It's all a program. Black Pilled Ham, I think, also has another valid point there, which is that all of this conspiracy TV, well, it is a scam. In this case, the, the ridiculous rubbish that we were just watching, well, that was being financed by some kind of physical gold company. A company that preys on weak-minded people who don't understand how financial markets work. A company that is trying to trick people into buying physical gold at substandard rates. And the end result is those people who respond to the, the advertising on the SGT report, they will all lose money. They are all being ripped off, whether you respond to that advert or not, being part of the conspiracy universe ecosystem is literally inviting yourself to become a victim of charlatans. But I still don't think that is really the source 
of black-pilled hams beef with either Sabrina Wallace or the SGT report. Maybe if we listen closely, he'll tell us what he really thinks. Sabrina Wallace, clip from Sabrina Wallace, the Jew bitch. It's a program brought to you by Jews. And Oh, <laughs> it was regular, normal fascism all along. Did you guess that? Did you guess that behind the, the Scooby-Doo villain mask, the, the ghost or the goblin or, or whatever it is that was terrorizing the village, it was plain old fascism hiding behind there all along. Did, why am I even acting surprised? That's always how it is with conspiracy theories. You know, whether it's Mark Steele or Sasha Stone, the, the, the sort of spiritual layer, the, the sciencey gobbledygook that they pretend to know about, well, that's just the, the outer trappings of the conspiracy theory. Deep down, all of this, in every single case, it, it's just a, a deep, heartfelt desire for authoritarian type control. That's all they are. You go, go and find me a conspiracy theorist who isn't a closet fascist. They all are. Now, this just shows that black-pilled ham is one of the dumbest conspiracy theorists, one of the dumbest people on the internet, because he couldn't find a legitimate reason to disagree with Sabrina Wallace. Uh, ultimately, his ridiculous anti-Semitism was all he had. That's pathetic, Black Pilled Ham. An SGT report and anybody else that sends me his fucking bullshit, you can fuck right on off and don't let me catch you out here in the real world unless you want to go to the emergency room, fucking bitches. Well, if any of you are volunteering to take Black Pilled Ham to the emergency room, I, I suspect it might be quite urgently necessary because he is talking an awful lot of gibberish, which might be a sign that he is in the early stages of, of some kind of cognitive mental decline that, that seems to be very common amongst all of the conspiracy universe. Uh, I, I do hope he is okay. I, you know what? Even though he is a, an obvious, not even a closet fascist, but an out and out anti-Semite, just absolutely open with his disgusting prejudice, I, I think we all wish him well. Let, let's hope him a a speedy recovery, and, and, and hopefully somebody listening is going to drive round to Black Pilled Ham's house and, and take him to the emergency room. And on the way, you can have a nice conversation about the benefits of mesh tan. You know what, actually, I'm actually worrying about that as well, because I quite enjoyed the fact that the, the text-based conversations on Meshtastic were, were kind of genteel. You know, it was a bunch of mainly middle-aged men talking about antennas and signal-to-noise ratios. If people like black-pilled ham are going to get on that network and start spreading their absurd, pathetic fascism, well, it's just not going to be fun anymore. So, hopefully, black-pilled's trip to the emergency room will knock some sense into him. And in the meantime, I shall be concocting another truly bizarre episode of Mind of Steel. And maybe next week, just, this is gonna blow your minds. It might be yet another non-Mark Steele episode. I I'm going to tantalize you with thoughts of a conspiracy theorist who is just as bizarre as Sabrina and just as bizarre as Black-Pilled Ham. So I'll see you in one week.